One of the most common hitting miss teaches is the quote of, hey, get your front foot down early. And of course, we have to get to a strong hitting position from the ground in order to build energy from my strongest muscles, legs up through the core and up the kinetic chain of the swing. But the swing is simply that. The kinetic chain of the swing begins gathering energy during the loading process and releasing er energy during the unloading process. Once that energy is beginning to gather during the loading process, it does not want to stop. Your swings that achieve the highest bat speed will also be continually smooth in one fluid motion through the load unload process. So when you've correctly timed up a pitch with good tempo and good synchronization, you're going to achieve your highest bat speed. Thinking of the analogy of the long row of dominoes once again, the swing works that way of each domino providing energy into the next one falling down the chain. If at any point I stop that sequence of dominoes from falling, I have to re-push or restart the dominoes to fall once again. So if you stop the kinetic energy of the swing at some point, you lose the previous energy and have to restart it artificially at some other part weaker in the chain. Often what this means, and in the hitting cue of get your front foot down early, this means that the body is going to stop in its lower half and have to refire somewhere else up the chain. It's going to do so from the weaker muscles of the upper body almost all the time. When I see hitters that lose that lower body synchronization and it stops completely, they almost always fire from the top. Telling your hitters to get to a strong position too soon, you're actually taking away their strongest muscles. It's not get the foot down early, it's get the foot down with timing. And granted, timing is the most difficult portion of the swing, and that's why we take so many reps off front toss and live batting practice. So our goal and attempt is keep the swing flowing in one fluid motion. There are hitters in the big leagues that do have an early stride. Ian Kinsler, Evan Longoria are some of these hitters. Although those hitters get their foot down early, their body continues its kinetic movement into its hitting position, meaning they don't stop moving. It's not ever a dead stop and then I fire again. They'll get their front foot down early, they'll get at or near center as their lower body begins the unloading process. And this is what amateur hitters fail to do. So when a hitting coach tells an amateur hitter, get your front foot down early, the difference is they stop completely, lose the kinetic energy in the lower half, get none of it to transfer to the upper body for proper sequencing and good bat speed, and they end up having to overcompensate and fire harder from the top which leads hitters to pull the front side off, pull away from the baseball, and commit to the ball sooner. Plus, in reality, what I see with hitters that have this type of style of getting their front foot down and stopping completely, they are actually late on a majority of their swings, even though they got their front foot down extremely early. Because it takes time and it is difficult to get back up to good bat speed when I take away all the energy of the strong muscles of the lower half and the core. I simply cannot swing the bat fast enough with just my hands in order to catch up to the timing of that pitch once again. So the hitting cue that we need to use is get your front foot down with timing. Keep continuous flow through the loading, unloading, sequencing process versus get your front foot down early, stop the body completely, fire from the top, pulling off the baseball in a max effort swing.